Okay, I'm gonna do a quick takeoff. I'm gonna show you uh, a couple uh, weather options that you have, time of day. Um, you can set most of the parameters, but then there's preset. This is IFR day. There's uh, VFR day, and you can bring the cloud layer in. It's kind of hard to see with this shot. Um, see what I can do to bring that down for you. Kind of see the cloud layer coming in again. It's hard to see using this camera, but it is there. And then uh, you know, we have VFR dust, and then there's IFR dust. You see it clouds a lot better then. And then um, IFR night and, and VFR night. So I want to go to um, IFR dust and uh, bring the cloud layer down about 500 feet and then uh, do a quick takeoff and then I'm going to locate back to uh, there's a uh, non-directional beacon on the approach to uh, Lakeland, Lakeland Runway 5 so I'm going to use that and just basically take off and then show you that you can drag the plane back to an approach we can land and then uh, very quickly move back to that approach again. So you can shoot several approaches on this uh, rather than going around the pattern, rather than dealing with other traffic. So, you, you know, you can get a more intense uh, workout, so to speak. Um, so here we go then. little toe break to get uh, centered on the runway. Again, your view is going to be a little different than mine. Coming up on rotation speed. There we are. You're up. Drifted off course slightly and you can see the uh, HSI needle uh, pulling off the center here. Off from the center. Centering it back up. Um, we're going to climb up to 1500 feet and then I'll just pull us back and we'll do a landing and then I'll take us right back up and drop us off you know and you can see that we can do another landing at that point so thinking about doing a two minute turn uh, with the turn coordinator here um, yeah, but that'll have us turn around for the project. I tell you what, let's do a two-minute turn uh, just for entertainment value. See how, see how my skills are. Although it's not all that exciting. Use of your life here for two minutes. Fast forward this point if you like. Um, you know, just show we have a turn coordinator here. You know, the kerosene ball, which is responsive to the rudders and the chronometer here. Thirty second turn we're at forty five degrees, so you know. Suppose I've proved my point. However, I've obviously punched up through fifteen hundred, so let's bring it back bring it back down. That'd be a good use of the time. Colesman window, by the way, is responsive. Uh, you know, so you can take a flight plan and, and put in a uh, altimeter setting if you like. Um, I'll just leave it on standard temperature. 
field elevation is where we're going is 147 feet above sea level. So that'll be, you know, the hard deck. I'm a little late on my turn, so I'm going to expedite it a little. See our ADF needle here, as well as the origination signal of the localizer. And I expedited too much for a little early, but you get the point. So now we're at 2,000 feet. Here's the big trick. I'm going to tune the computer to the ADF, and we're going to lo locate to the ADF and drop us right off on the approach. There we are at the outer marker. Still above, above the glide slope. Going to slightly drift on the course here. Wondering if the people behind me are going to mess up my recording. Put in some flaps. Fish forward a little bit so they won't pop up. Put in the gear, we're still above the glide slope. Put in some more flaps. It gets really sluggish when you put in a lot a flaps at low speed, but that's what it's designed to do. Takes a lot of aileron correction at that point. Starting to see the glide slope come in here, so I'm going to increase power to break the descent. Slow the descent, kind of. And we're on the glide slope. We're about about center on the runway, maybe two degrees off. And we should be seeing a runway here soon. We're a little below the glide slope now. We'll push it up some. Usually about 500 feet a minute does it. And as you can see in this shot, I'll drift off, of course, just a little to make sure you can see it. But here's the approach. I know you're at a bad angle there. And I'm going to get back over here and try and land. Not the best piloting skills today. But we made it. I'll just turn back today real quick so you can see that. That really is the runway, and you really can uh, find the runway in the dark uh, using the AST-300.